In today's linear algebra video, we're going to be taking a look at the transpose of a matrix. What we'll be doing is going over the background behind it, and we'll go through two examples, a rectangular matrix as well as a square matrix, and then jump into some properties. After that, we'll jump into some Python code with the help of NumPy, and we'll go over these different types of properties and show you how you can find the transpose in literally just one line of code. With that being said, let's go over some background information about all right, so transpose of a matrix. Uh, the transpose of matrix A is denoted by A raised to the T. A at T is formed by switching the rows and columns. So you can think of an element like A, I, J, and row I, column J, uh, becomes A, J, I in the transpose matrix. And you can find the transpose of either a square or a rectangular matrix. Uh, the reason why is this will not impact any of the diagonal elements. And what the transpose allows us to do is simplify equations and transformations. So here is going to be our first example, right? So we have this matrix that has uh, two rows and then also three columns. And then it's going to be flipped now, right? So you can see it turns into three rows and two columns. And what happens, right? We have six, four, two, and then, right, this is our first row. And now six, four, two becomes a column. So we have six, four, two. And then for our second row in the original, right, we have five, one, three. Well, that now becomes a column, right? Five, one, as well as three, okay? Uh, let's take a look at our next example, right, which is our square. Now, this makes it real easy, right? Diagonals do not change. Well, you can see three and five do not change right? Eight and two do. And you can see that these are flipped, right? Three, eight becomes three, eight, two, five becomes two, five. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. And here's some of the properties I wanted to share with you guys too. So you can see the transpose right here. If we take the transpose again, uh, we get back into our original matrix, right? A plus B transpose equals A transpose plus B transpose. A, B, right? Equals B times A. Uh, K is just an integer, right? So we're scaling our matrix. And then lastly, uh, this is the inverse, right? Raised to the negative one. So transpose raised to the negative one equals uh, the inverse and then transpose. And we'll be going through all of these properties uh, with NumPy just to show you that they work properly. And then lastly, uh, one other thing I wanted to cover is a symmetric matrix. I'm not covering all the details in this video. It'll be another one on the channel. Um, but it's symmetric if A equals the transpose, and this is that case, right? Diagonals don't change, right? And it doesn't really matter. We have one, one right there, and then we have two, two, and these would swap. So one, two, two, one is an example of a symmetric matrix. Also, again, I will show you that with Python code. So that is kind of the background of the transpose. Let's start coding. Make sure you grab your Python notebook. And uh, this will be pretty easy. All right, so let's get started. We're going to have to bring in one import this time. So import numpy as np. Some videos you have to do like by plus this one, super easy. So uh, let's take a look at our transpose examples on this side of things. And we'll start off with the matrix A. So we'll say A equals np dot array. Then in over here, we're going to pass in uh, two rows. So we'll start off with six, four, two, and then five, one, three. And this is going to match uh, what we covered in the slides initially, right? Um, that's why I, I tried to build out this Python tutorial to follow along. Uh, what we'll do is the transpose. And there's two different ways to find the transpose with NumPy. So I'll show you the first one. So all you have to do is say a.t. That's it, right? And what we can see is if I print out both of these. So let's first print out a, right? And then... Uh, what we'll do is print out a of t and then needs to be a capital t and you'll see it's the transpose right six four two six four two five one three five one three so easy right dot t um from the readability side of things you may not know what dot t is if someone is reading your code for the first time uh so there's another way to uh, use this right although uh dot t is really fast and if you're doing uh, multiple calculations, right? Dot T uh, may work out better for you. Uh, again, on the readability, uh, it's kind of lacking, but 
if you know already what .t is or your coworkers know, use it. Uh, we'll say b is np.array, and honestly, I'm lazy, so I'm gonna copy this code because I'm literally just gonna change up the numbers in here. And uh, we'll say two, we'll say seven, and we'll have one. And then what I'll do is four, five, six, four, five, and six, like that. And what we'll do is find the transpose again. So we'll say b underscore t equals np dot transpose, and we'll pass in b. And again, uh, just to print out both of these to show you, b like this, right? Two, seven, one, four, five, six, prints b t like that. And you'll see it's two, seven, one, four, five, six. So again, feel free to use uh, whatever you like. In this tutorial, I'm gonna try to use a mixture of both of them, so that way you kind of get ingrained. Uh, this is very similar to the inverse side of things, right? And if you haven't watched that video, uh, make sure to check it out. But NumPy uh, gives you multiple ways to do this. Awesome. And what we'll do now is one last example. I'm gonna skip to the lettering of E because we're gonna use this a little bit later to go over our properties uh, when we go over the inverse example. But this is gonna be the square matrix. So we're gonna say E equals NP dot array. And then inside over here, we'll use the same numbers. So three, eight, and then two, five. All right, so we have these over here. And uh, let's print out both of these just to show you that this worked properly. So I'll print out E and then I'll print out E underscore T. And yeah, look, diagonal's the same, right? We swapped the other side, eight, two, two, and eight. So we are good to go. Just remember, either .t or np.transpose. So let's move into our properties. Properties, man, that spelling is phenomenal this morning. Uh, second time I actually recorded this video is the first time I only recorded my face and we can't do that. So let's uh, start. So we'll start off with the double transpose a raised to the t raised to the t equals a. And this is a great example of where you would just do dot t because uh, this is gonna be easier. So double transpose equals a dot t dot t, right? A t t. And uh, first let's print out our a just to make sure this is equal. So you can see a is six, four, two, five, one, three. And then let's print out our double transpose. And you'll see, look at that. These are exactly the same. Now we can jump into our second property, uh, which is the transpose of a sum. So we'll say sum transpose equals, we'll have a plus b uh, dot t, right? That's our transpose there. And then what we'll do, transpose sum equals np dot transpose, we'll have a, and then I'll do the same thing for B, so plus B right there. We're right, mixing both in this example. And we'll just print them out. So print some transpose. Let's see, 8, 9, 11, 6, 3, 9. And then let's print out transpose sum. So print. Look at that. Same exact results. Now we're gonna take a look at the transpose of a product. So what I wanna do is define two new matrices. Uh, so we'll have C, we'll see, and that's gonna be a three by two, and then we'll have D, which is gonna be a two by three. Remember, matrix multiplication they have to be compatible. Check out that video if you're not familiar with it, although that video has not been recorded yet, but it'll be before this in the series. Um, so we'll say C equals NP dot array, and over here, we'll have seven, two, then we'll have five, four, and then we'll have nine, six, right? And then we'll have D equals, and we'll have seven, 11, one. And I know I need to add in P dot array, um, but we'll also have over here one, 11 and 14. And because I decided to skip that for some reason, we'll throw that over here like that. Now we have C and D. So let's uh, calculate these. So we'll have product transpose equals NP dot dot C D roll dot T. And I'll just get this out of the way just so you guys can read that code. Apologize. Product transpose NP dot dot. 
Okay, and then let's look at transpose product. So transpose product, and this can be equal to np dot dot, and we'll d dot t, c dot t, and we'll run both of these cells over here, and then print these out. So print product, and then we'll print out the next. So print, and there we go. 51, 39, 69, 99, 99, 165, 35, 61, 93. Both of these line up perfect. Awesome. Now let's look at scalar multiplication. And uh, we'll say our k value is equal to six. Doesn't really matter. Put the of that there. Scalar transpose equals k times a. Transpose that to so dot t. And then up next, transpose scalar equals k times np dot transpose plus an a. And let's print out both of these. So print and up first, we get 36, 30, 24, 6, 12, 18. And let's print out the other. And the result's exactly the same, right? 36, 30, 24, 6, 12, and 18. And finally, let's take a look at our inverse example, right? Uh, transpose inverse is equal to inverse transpose. So we'll have e a t this time. Remember, inverse, you have to have a square. So np dot transpose, and then pass in e. Right, so that's getting the transpose, and then we'll inverse that. So we'll say e t inverse equals n p dot lin alge dot inverse e t, not the alien, of course. And now what we'll do is we'll do the other side, right? So the first thing we're going to want to do on here is we'll say e inverse t equals n p dot transpose. And then we'll just get the inverse inside over here, right? And we'll do that through np.linalg.inverse, and we'll just pass in e, right? Actually, I have a small little bit error. I misspelled. It's transpose, not transpo. And I still have an error, man. I misspelled linalg also. Double error. That's always fun. All right, and we'll print out both of these. So. Let's print out this first one, right? Negative five, two, eight, negative three, and print out our second one on this side of things. And you'll see negative five, two, eight, and negative three. Um, so those are the properties. I wanna show you lastly, uh, the symmetry. So symmetry, hopefully I spelled that correctly. Uh, so we'll start off symmetric matrix equals np dot array. And then over here, we'll have one, two, and then two and one, like that. All right, and what we'll have now is symmetric matrix two. And we'll say that's equal to np dot transpose, just pass in the symmetric matrix, right? And these need to be equal. So print the matrix. One, two, two, one, and then print out our matrix two and one, two, two, one. So all this lines up, and uh, yeah, that's that's the Python coding side of things. Pretty simple. Remember, NumPy, we're using matrices in this tutorial series, right? You can either do dot t or np dot transpose and uh, pass in your matrix as a parameter. And uh, we went over all these different properties, right? So we we'll have that over here and kind of showed you how all those work, multiplication, inverse, as well as scalars. And lastly, we rounded this off with symmetry, uh, showing you one, two, two, one is the same uh, when you do the transpose of it. Well, this was an easier video and I hope you guys uh, found this valuable. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're uploading anywhere from two to four different data science focused videos every single week. 
And if you want to learn even more about linear algebra, I have a few videos linked down below in the description, and I have a playlist right over here that I'm developing.